Why, why would they paint this man as Jesus Christ? There's a purpose behind that. You think that they just woke up one day and said, let me make a Jesus Christ. Why do they do that? To take power away from Excuse that is because the people have become conscious that we are the children of Israel mm -hmm. and that Joshua was black. Right. It'll change the order of the world. That's right. It will change your self-image. Yeah. Once you realize that the greatest man that walked this earth looked just like you, your mind will change. He said he's. Hey, how you doing, sis? Watch out, Josie. Step to the left just a little bit. How you doing? You doing good? I'm alive, I'm blessed. All oh, So you say you're alive, you're blessed. This is a beautiful day to be out here on the Lord's Day. So we are actually out here teaching our people who we are according to the Bible. That's what we teach. And we teach that we must come back to the commandments, right? So do you go to church on Sundays? You go to church at all, matter of fact. I am the church. Okay, you are the church 100%. So do you go to church like to a, a temple building? I fellowship with believers. With believers. Okay, on what day? On Sunday, right? You do it on Sunday. Give me First Peter two or twenty one. So you do it on he Sunday. Died and did away with the so you said Jesus died and yeah. did away with the law. Now you're a Christian, right? Okay. I'm a Christian. So if we're Christians, aren't we supposed to follow what Christ did? Oh, right. Right. right? No. So we're gonna read. And we're gonna read. We're gonna read the Bible, and that's what we're gonna do. Cause that's what we do when we come out. We teach our people. I'm you got that? So read. Though. First Peter chapter 2 verse 21. Listen up, y'all. Listen up, brothers. How you doing, sis? You doing good? If you got a minute here to Bible, listen up, sis. Here we go. Read. For even here are two were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us. Uh-huh. Leaving us an example. He left us a what? Leaving us an example. So Christ left us an example to follow, right? Oh, read. Lord. That ye should follow his steps. That we should follow his steps. Give me Luke 4 and 16. Give me Luke hey. 4 and 16. So sis. So it said that Christ came and died for us, and he left us an example on how we must keep the commandments, right? He did them all. So he serve. gave us an example. So we serve every day, all day long. It's gonna be a brighter day. Hello, hello. All right, sis, sis. Real quick, real quick, because you said that the laws are done away with, right? That that kind of stuck with me. You said that that Jesus Christ died. And now that the laws are done away with. Is it's that what you believe? The law, the law was made perfect. The laws were made what? Perfect. What does that mean? That the laws were made that perfect. Means that Jesus died because he knew we would never be good enough. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now, let's right. go back. Let's go back to go uh, back 1 Peter to chapter 2 and 21. Yeah. You believe that too, bro? The laws are done away with? No. Okay. Let's see what the Bible got to say about this. All right. Matter of fact, let's hold it. Matthew Yo. 5 and 17. Let's just get to the point. Let's see what Jesus Christ said. Let's see what Jesus Christ said. Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 17. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Bro. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Sis, you listening? Sis, Grace A, you too. Listen, listen. Read it wrong one more time from the top. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. This is Jesus Christ speaking right here, right? This is the New Testament. Jesus Christ speaking, read. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. What does that mean? Jesus Christ said, think not that I come to destroy the law. What does that mean? No. What do you know? What does that mean? Read it again. Read it again. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. What does that mean? That he, he did not come to do what? Destroy us. Destroy the law. That's what oh, the Bible said. Read it again. Think it. not that I have come to destroy the law. So Christ did not come to, to do away with no law. Because with your logic, Who made the you're telling me that you have the ab not the me. ability not to kill, not to steal. I don't do that. Wait a minute. So guess what? I don't have fornication. So why are you telling me, why do you say that the laws are done away with? Why do you say that they're too perfect, perfect for us to keep? Which law is too perfect? Jesus is everything. Why did he make the laws? Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, 
one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Wait a minute. It said to the heavens and earth passed. Now one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, why did So what does that mean? Hold up. Let's not run past you, that. You say what does that mean? But I'm going to talk over you. I got permission. Okay. Jesus died. Um, why did he, he have to make judges, lawyers, now that's with the law. Now, why did he make them? Why did he make judges and lawyers? Oh, yes, yeah. Judges are to do what? To enforce God's laws. Oh, that's right. So okay. you, answer. you answer. gave answer. me the answer right there. Answer right. Because we want to his law. He said, what now? The Babies. point that we're trying to make is that what? The right to get the kingdom is by God's laws. Hey. That's how we get the kingdom. That's how we get salvation. Hey, now, are you keeping God's laws? Are you keeping God's laws? No, I'm not that pure. You're that's not that pure? Why not? That's why because Jesus died. My body, my So why do you do these things? Is, is he with flesh? Why do you do these things? Because of the world, the society. Because they don't want now, to Now, let me get the scripture where it tells us um, in um, Revelation chapter 22 and 14. I love you, black brothers. Because guess what? Like what we're trying to teach you out here is salvation. Right. The way that you get that salvation is by keeping it. God's laws. Bring it out. You got I'm what? Saved. I'm saved. What are you saved from? I'm free at the blood. I'm the what are you saved from? Me. What are you saved from? I'm saved for damnation. I'm going to heaven. Listen up. When you tell me that you're saved, guess what? Jesus Christ will return to save the Israelites from what? What do the Israelites need to be saved from? Guess what? There was a brother in a, um in Sacramento last week named Ste um, what was his name? Stephon Clark. The brother um, got shot 20 times in the street. 20 times. And guess what? That cop would get away not guilty. Right. You see? This has happened time and time and time again. Right. But we have our sisters right here saying that they already saved. Right. Right. These are the things that we need to be saved from. We need to be saved from our enemies that's um, sitting yeah. down in the streets. Right. Okay? We need to be saved from our own people that's shooting us down. Right. Yeah. We are stuck in the jails. We are stuck in the ghettos on the bottom. Right. We're paying bills. We don't, we don't, we should not be doing those things. Yeah. We are made to rule. We are supposed to be on top of all these nations. Right. Right. But now, what are we doing? We're waiting on the bus. Right. We're smoking cigarettes. Right. But God said that you are supposed to be separate from all these other nations. Right. Right. That's what God said. Read that again, y'all. Read that for me. Deuteronomy 7 6. Yeah, let's start there. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6 because we don't realize what we need to be saved from. We're thinking that we go to church, we uh we sing a few songs, we pay our tithes, and now we're saved. Then we walk outside and get shot down in the streets. Right. That don't make no doggone sense, man. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. To be a special people. So God said that there's a certain nation of people, the 12 tribes of Israel, is holy. What does the word holy mean? What does it mean? Like, okay. Do what? It's filled with the Spirit. Okay. Let's see what God said, what holy means, all right? Leviticus chapter 20 and 26. God lets us know what it means to be holy. All right? Let's see what it says. Leviticus chapter 20 and 26. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 26 uh -huh. And ye shall be holy unto me So God said that ye Meaning this nation of uh, The nation of Israel They should be holy oh, right. Which one are you on this uh, this sign right here What do you see Judah. Judah right Okay so they call you black American right But God said that you are Judah right oh, Read that from the top again Leviticus chapter 20 verse 26 uh -huh. Uh -huh. And ye shall be holy unto me Uh huh for I, the Lord, am holy, uh -huh. and have severed you uh -huh. from other people. Wait a minute. What is what does that word mean? What does severed mean? Separated you from other people. So God said you are holy, meaning that you are supposed to be separated from these other nations. You don't supposed to mingle with these other nations, right? But guess what? I bet you our people on Sunday will do this uh, the uh, the same thing 
that these that these uh, nations doing. Guess what it is? It's Easter. You about to celebrate Easter? Why not? Okay, but guess what? Many of y'all, uh, these people don't know that. Hey, brother, right here with the brown jacket. Who gonna um, celebrate Easter tomorrow? You gonna celebrate Easter tomorrow? Are you going to celebrate Easter tomorrow? You see, our people, they're gonna do the same things that these other nations do. God said that we are holy. Meaning that God gave us laws that we should keep. He didn't give these, these laws to no other nation. But now we're here and we're mingled, okay, amongst the heathen. Let's go to uh, Psalms 106 real fast and 35. This is how you become holy. God gave us laws that we should keep. Once we left Egypt, God said, y'all are special. Let me show you how. But for some reason... Once we came here, we started living just as the other nations of people. So we're no longer holy. What makes us different? What? Exactly. But let's see what happens to us. Psalms 106 and verse 35. Psalms chapter 106 verse 35. But we're mingled among the heathen and learned their works and they... And they served their idols, mm -hmm. which were a snare unto them. Now, they say that they served their idols. Now, guess what? One idol is this man right here, oh, Caesar Borgia. What many may know as Jesus the Christ, right? But this is not Jesus the Christ. This is another, nothing but an idol that was set up. You see what I'm saying? You read, let's hold that uh, Revelation 1 and 14. Let's get into this. Because this is one idol that we worship as a uh, nation of people right but why do we worship this guy what was the point of worshiping him because the bible says something that's totally different but they put out this idol and say this is your messiah this is your savior but let's see what god say first and then we'll get into why they put this up revelation chapter one start at verse one Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 uh -huh. no. The revelation of Jesus Christ So the revelation of Jesus Christ Meaning what? The revealing of Jesus Christ So Jesus Christ is about Will be revealed right now Right? He's about To reveal the image of Jesus Christ Read on Which God gave unto him uh -huh. To show unto his servants Things which must shortly come to pass Read. And he sent And sanctified it By his angels Okay, now jump, jump down to verse and sanctify it by his angel okay. unto his servant John. So now, this is this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Let's jump down to verse, let's start at verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. So the hairs and the hairs that was on Jesus Christ's head was white and woolly. Alright, this is what John the Revelator is seeing. John the Revelator sees Jesus the Christ. And he is saying that his hairs were white and woolly. But if you look at this images right here, do that match that? So see, I know that they painted over all of those images of they did, right? use us to make us okay. worship something that's not our nation. Okay, well let's keep going. Let's get more on his description. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh -huh. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. So his feet were like unto fine brass. So fine brass is what color? Brown is like a a brown is color, right? So Jesus Christ, his 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 skin was like a dark brown color. That's right. But if you look at this brother, well, this guy right here, this devil right here, what is his skin color? White. You sure? This right here is white. That's white. What color is he? There, the so-called white man is not white. The so-called white man is red. Edom, yes, 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 yes. But they say that this is Jesus Christ, but we just read that, that his hairs are woolly and white, and his skin is like unto fine brass, which you said was brown, right? All right, read on. And his feet. Like until fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burn in a furnace. So now it said that 
Jesus Christ's skin that color was a love. dark, dark brown color. That's what God is. That looked love. just like this sister right here. But she teach is the nine. Teach love. People we will teach love. This. What is love? Teach love. What's love then? This one right there. Really what's what's love? That they won't even know God. What's, we'll get there. Now hold that. Now. Humble Let's finish yourself. it up. Why are you trying to make me like this sister? This and his feet like unto fine brass. Is it as if they burn in a furnace? Uh -huh. And his voice as the sound of many waters. So Jesus Christ was a loud brother with a loud voice. Because guess what? Jesus Christ was actually reaching out to the Israelites. Right. They didn't have microphones back then. You see that? So Christ had a very loud voice. But the pastors today, they have this soft, meanie mouth voice. They have this boyish voice. But guess what? Jesus Christ had a voice of many, many waters. You see that? Now, why, why would they paint this man as Jesus Christ? There's a purpose behind that. You think that they just woke up one day and said, let me make a Jesus Christ. Why do they do that? To take power away from skew that is because the people have become conscious that we are the children of Israel mm -hmm. and that Joshua was black. Right. It will change the order of the world. That's right. It would change your self-image. Yeah. Once you realize that the greatest man that walked this earth looked just like you, your mind will change. Your mind will change. But guess what? Now we have in our minds that the greatest man was a white boy. Was a white man. You see that? So now, once the white man do certain things, like they shoot you down in the streets, your brothers and sisters, guess what? We feel that we must forgive them. Because God is love, like this sister just said. Right. But God, no, no, no. But God is just like you. God came for you. God came for your people and your people only. That's right. See that? So for many years, we would see the so-called white man ruling over us. But we would think that's okay. That's expected. Why? Because Jesus Christ was the son of God. And their people, the so-called white man, are the chosen generation. So they're supposed to be above us. So we, we remain on the bottom and are okay to do so but if we realize that we are the greatest nation no. to ever walk this planet right. guess what we won't accept this no more the bus stops no more right. That's right you see that we won't accept the projects no more right we won't accept being um, shot down in the streets because we will know that we are royalty right. royal people don't get um, shot down in the streets right. no. you see that royal people don't get shot down in the streets Royal people are not stuck in jail. But guess what? They put this image up so you will know you are always on the bottom. You see that thing? Go to um, Psalm 64. Psalm 64 and verse 6. Yeah, give me one second. All right. This one verse do bro, all right? Psalm chapter um, 64 and verse 6. Psalm chapter 64 and verse 6. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thoughts of every one of them and their heart is deep. So this is speaking about the so-called white man. It said that their heart or their mind is deep. Meaning that they sat down and actually planned it out and said, how can we destroy this people? I know. Let's paint their their savior, their hero as us. So now they will worship us. Right. Now there'll be no need for them to try to come up. There'll be no need for that because they don't see themselves in the Bible. That's why they won't pick it up. That's why they say that it's a white man's book. But your solutions are in this book right here. Right. The way to get the way to get up. And to come up is to read these scriptures and apply these scriptures. But if you're going to look at this Bible as a white man's book, you won't ever pick it up. You'll start looking at the book of the dead because you see another people with your skin tone. You will go into Egyptology, Islam, things of that nature that has nothing to do with your people. You see that? You had a question, bro? What is the reason? Yeah. Okay. What was, what was the reason that Jesus told to the Pharisees? He 
reacting to the question, is it not written that you have God? Uh-huh. So, I mean, you want to know the reason for that? Let's get that. What's that? Um, no, let's get it where it say um, in Christ. Christ said that in John chapter 10, I believe it is. Let's get the scripture. I think it's Psalm chapter 10. Now, why he's getting it? Why do you want to know that uh, that question? Let me ask you this. What does the word God mean? What does the word God mean? Well, I have heard that. Think about it. I'm going to come on out and not to sustain this. Go ahead. You're wrong. Go ahead. It wasn't supposed to be one that talked to me the higher power. Okay. And at the very same time, you have to keep in mind um, the devices that the enemy used. I have also heard that the word. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. The word God means power. That's what the word God means. Now, we're going to get you the scripture that you wanted. Let's go to um, John chapter 10 and 35. This is what Christ spoke, right? Read it. John chapter 10 verse 35. Bro. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken. So now Christ is going back to what was written in the book of Psalms. Okay, read that. John chapter 10 verse 34. Bro. Jesus answered them, isn't it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. Uh -huh. Verse 35. If he called them gods, to whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken. So now Christ is going back or referring back to the Old Testament, the book of Psalms, oh, where he's letting them know the men of Israel that they are gods, that they oh, are a power upon this earth. No. Right now, do you think that you are God on this earth right now? What does, what does God do? Let's ask that. What do God do? Remember what God means. God means what? Power. So what do gods do? They reign, right? They're supposed to rule. God is saying that you are gods. You are you should be ruling at this point in time. Right. But guess where we are now? We at the bottom of society, but why? Of us, and I ain't gonna get you no down, bro, but it's a whole lot of us, bro. You can teach the truth, and I mean, five and ten minutes later, they still go back to the But don't look, 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 look. We're not worrying about everybody else. We're worried about you right now. Yeah. Right, that's right. You are a God, but guess what? You are, you would die like men because we broke God's laws right. as a nation of people. So now we're trying to return back to that God state. When Christ return, we will become as gods again. Okay. If you keep God's commandments, if you repent, that's what we're trying to um, bring forth right now, bring to come up. back to God's laws. Bring because you see what happened when we broke God's laws, right? Just look around you. Look at your people. You see what happened. So what must you do? You want to become that God again, right? You want to become back to that God state again, right? What must you do? Good, good. Now, let's jump back. Let's go to uh, Psalm 82 and see what uh, what Jesus Christ was referencing. Bro. Because God is letting us know that the men of Israel are gods. Bro. The men of Israel, they are 
They should be ruling the, the, this earth. Right, this right, earth right. is for us to rule over these other nations. What? What? What is that? But guess what? We refuse that thing. We refuse to come back to God's laws. We refuse and we wanted to live like these other nations of people. So therefore, the Most High God sent them against us. Right. And now we are begging for scraps. What? Now we are in slavery. Now we're getting shot down in the streets. Read that. Psalms chapter 82 verse 5. Uh -huh. Yo, they know not, neither would they understand. Uh -huh. They walk on in darkness. You see that? It's saying that the nation of Israel, they walk on in darkness. Meaning that they don't know who they are or where they're going. All they doing is just, uh, they searching for any old thing. First it was Christianity, Islam. Now they're going into Egyptology. They're going into uh, the politics. They're doing whatever they can to come up. They walk on in darkness, but don't know where to go. You see what I'm saying? Read that. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. You see that? They said all the foundations of this earth is what? Out of course. Meaning what? There's no order. Meaning that you have the, the basis of men ruling this world right now. Right. Right. You have the gods that are on the bottom. You have women that's ruling the men. This whole earth is out of course. Why? Because we, you and I, these brothers right here, guess what happened to us? We broke God's laws right. as a nation of people. And now, guess what we're doing now? We're rising back up. Right. We're going to get back to that God state again. But now we want you to join along with us. Right. You need to repent. You keeping God's laws? Because we just said to get um, to come back to that God's thing, you gotta keep God's laws. You doing so? I'm making haste. You making haste? Yeah. Okay, so when is this your first time hearing this? I studied it over here. You studied? Okay. Yeah. Now, some of the stuff be coming back to me okay. as I stay around. Okay, now, let me ask you something. Just something simple. What is today? The According to God. Huh? Or the Holy Sabbath. It's the Sabbath, right? right? Now, to keep the Sabbath, is that a law? Yes. It is, yes. right? Okay, so how do you keep the Sabbath? Say, do not think your own thoughts. Don't okay. Do your own ways, no pleasure, no business. It's a whole lot with the Sabbath. Bro. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get let's get the main points, right? Let's let's go to Leviticus 23. Okay, because these are laws that we should keep. This is what um what um what's the word I'm looking for? Severs us from these other nations. Okay. Let's get that because right now it's the Sabbath. So there are certain things that you must do on this day to keep it holy. Read one. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 1. No. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. So we have to speak unto the men of Israel, the children of Israel, read on, concerning the feast of the Lord, uh -huh. which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Read on. Even these are my feasts. Verse, verse 3, yeah. Verse 3. Read on. Six days shall work be done. So for six days you can work. From Sunday to Friday at sundown, you can work. Okay? Meaning that you can do whatever you need to do up to make money, work around the house, okay? And things of that nature, right? But read on. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. So that is a what? A Sabbath? Sabbath of rest. So on today, what do you do? You rest. Meaning there's 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 no working, right? Read on. And holy cover and holy convocation. Meaning what? That you must gather amongst these people right here, the Israelites. That's right. Okay, and you learn and build together. You doing that? I do that. You do that? Yeah. So there, so there's no working, and you're supposed to gather yeah. with your nation of people yeah. that keep God's laws. Yeah. You do that. Oh, now. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll praise it. Now. We good. Now. Those are two things. Okay. I tried it by myself. Like, is there? Uh, there's. There's more than that to keep God's laws or uh, uh, to keep the uh, the Sabbath day holy. You know any more? No fire. No fire. What does that mean? No fire. Everything Friday before sunset. There you go. So there's no cooking, right? What else? 
That's you're it? supposed to go 150 feet away from your house. It's a whole lot of house. Where you get that from? I went 150 deep into feet. Hold on, I'm sorry. We get, yeah, that's that. right. If we speak, we'll speak. We'll okay. Speak. Let's get uh, Nehemiah chapter 10 and 31. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it over. And if the people of the land bring well of any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, uh -huh. that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So there's no buying or selling on the Lord's day. That's right. So points of the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What's one? Make sure uh, that you're listening. What's one over? No buying, no selling. No buying, no selling. What else? No buying, no cooking. No cooking. What else? No work. No working. One more. I'm in the holy there you go. Okay. So, brother, you listening, right? So, these are the laws that we got to keep to get back to that state of mind. All right? To become that God again. Because guess what? You're going to rule these, these nations with these laws right here. You realize that? You sure? Yeah. All right, I'll praise you. Okay, I'll praise Now, let me give you one more. Let's go to fringes. Out. Let's go to the law of fringes because this will um, separate you again from these other nations. This is what make you holy. All right, Numbers fifteen and thirty-eight. Numbers chapter fifteen, verse thirty-eight. Bro. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. You know what a fringe is? These these things right here. God said that the nation of Israel must put these upon the borders of their garments. Oh, right. 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 Identify. He said, what now? Uh, make it easier for the brothers to identify you also. That's one point, but there's something else. Yeah. There's another meaning for these fringes. Remember, remember the law. There you go. Read on. Throughout their generations, uh -huh. and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So as long as we're generating, our people should wear these fringes. Right, so, guess what? We're still generating, right? We, we're still making sons and daughters. Meaning, guess what? We still should be keeping this law right here. And we put a border of blue on the fringe. But there's a reason why. Read on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe uh -huh. that ye may look upon it. That you may what? Look upon it. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. Uh -huh. And do them. And do what? And do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart mm -hmm. and your own eyes uh -huh. after which ye used to go a whoring. You see that? So there's a purpose that we're supposed to look at these fringes and guess what? Remember God's laws and do God's laws. You see that? So because we are subject to sin, right? We can go into this store, shoplift, and do whatever all uh, we want to do, right? But once you have these fringes, it shall uh, remind you to say, God said, I cannot steal. All right. All right. Because why? Those laws are going to get you into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. You see that? So there's a reason behind God's laws. God's laws are perfect, meaning that there's a perfect uh, meaning behind them. Right. Purpose behind it. God just don't wake up and just say, let me make this law for you because I just feel like it. That's no, right. there's a meaning behind these laws. Right. Right. right? Now. Again, or tomorrow, something's going to come up, right? You said that you wasn't going to do it, right? What is it? Celebrate Easter. What about you? You celebrate Easter? Why not? There you go. A bunny rabbit don't lay eggs, but where does that come from? That comes from the, um, the idols again, once again. We mingled ourselves amongst the nations and learned their ways. Many, many churches will say that that's the uh, resurrection of Christ. But they will have Easter on heads. Easter egg hunts. Right? That has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Go to Colossians chapter 2 and 8. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Because we will do things mindlessly. We don't even... Realize why we do those things. Read that. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Uh -huh. oh. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So Easter is a philosophy. It's a vain deceit. Oh, what does vain mean? It, does not hold no weight, no it holds problem. no weight, no profit. It is a deceit, meaning what? It is a lie. Oh, it is a lie. Read that from the top again. 
Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Uh -huh. Beware, lest any man spoil you uh -huh. through philosophy and vain deceit. Read on. After, tra after the traditions of men. Uh -huh. After the rudiments of the world. You see that? So Easter was made up by men. A man, they sat there and made up their own day. Because guess what? God didn't choose them. So they had to make up their own gods. Their own laws. Their own ways. Right. You see that? And guess what? Now they make you celebrate those days. That's right. Did you know that the way that you worship God was taught by the white man? You knew that? You know that the way that the preacher um, teaches, another nation of people taught him how to teach? Bring it out. They taught them the Bible? Right. The slave owners, the slave masters, they taught the black, uh, 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 the preachers, the way to bring out the scriptures, oh, which is wrong. No. They teach Easter, which is nothing to do with the scriptures. They teach uh, a Christmas. Y'all believe in Christmas? Y'all celebrate Christmas? Why not? No, I mean the reason why. Best man here was something that was brought about 10 years ago. Or about 10 years ago, it was something that was supposed to have something to do with it. I was in the last few years. Or just something like death. And I read where they had also said you should not get the home. There you go. It's just based upon idols again. All of these things are based upon idols. Right. And they mix it with our scriptures. Why? So it can look good. Hold that. Let's go to 1 Maccabees chapter 3 and 48 real fast. Let me show you something because they talked about, they was doing this way back in the Greek captivity. All the way back with the Greeks was ruling the world. They was doing the same thing. 1 Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. First Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. Bring it and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their image. So now the heathens, they laid open our book of the law, which is the Bible, and they painted their images. What does that mean? What is an image? What is an image? It all depends on how you look at things. Hold on. Leviticus 26 and 1. Let's explain what an image is. Because they laid open our book and they painted their images in our scriptures. What does that mean? Let's see what it is, what an image is. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 1. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 1. Uh -huh. You shall make. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 1. Uh -huh. You shall make you no idols nor graven images. Hold up. No what? No idols, no graven images. So what's the image again? Graven images. That's an idol. Yes, idol. An image, that's an idol. That's right. Right? You agree? Yeah. Let's go back. First Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. Uh -huh. And laid open the book of the law, uh -huh. wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. So now, guess what? They will make Easter, which is an idol. And they will paint it as Jesus the Christ resurrection. They will mingle their idols with our scriptures. So we can do it or worship it with no problem. You see that thing? So now we're worshiping idols mindlessly, thinking uh, thinking that it's good. That's right. Y'all with me so far? Easter has nothing to do with the Bible. You know? We will happily celebrate it because that's what the preacher tells us. That's what they teach us. You see that? Go back to Colossians 2 and 8. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Uh -huh. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Uh -huh. After the traditions of men. Read. After the rudiments of the world. Read on. And not after Christ. You see that? So now we are doing things that are not of Jesus the Christ. So now we got to ask ourselves, what did Jesus Christ do? Did Jesus Christ celebrate Easter? Nah, he didn't. Let's see what he did. Luke chapter 2. These are the things that you must be following because a brother brought out a scripture earlier saying that we should be following the footsteps or the example of Jesus Christ. Right. So let's see what Jesus Christ did. What did he worship? What did he Yo. celebrate? Luke chapter 2 and 41. Luke chapter 2 verse 41. Uh -huh. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast 
of the Passover. So Jesus Christ worshiped or ce um, celebrated the Passover. Y'all heard of that? The Passover? Y'all celebrate the Passover? When's the last time you celebrate the Passover? This is the first time. This is the first time? Yeah. All praises. So you're going to do it, right? Now. It starts on the 11th, right? The 14th day of this month. The first note, the new moon starts on tonight. You know about the new moons? Yeah, and I lost the date. So I'm yeah. Gonna, I the new moon the means the beginning of the month. So yeah. at sunset is the beginning of the next month or the first month. This is this is actually the new year. You know that? This is the new year. So 14 days from the first day of the month is Passover. You see that? But our people, they celebrated New Year's months ago in the dead of the winter. But guess what? God said that the new year is when um, new beginnings. You see that the trees are beginning to bloom again. It's warming up. You see uh, the flowers are blossoming. Right. That lets you know that this is the beginning of a new year. Right. Make sense? So now, 14 days from, from, um, um, from sunset, which is tomorrow, the first day, is the Passover. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org